Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Vicki Knapp. I wanted to explain something very interesting that happened yesterday all along the west coast of Florida ahead of Hurricane Irma. What you're looking at here is drone footage from the Tampa Bay. These folks are walking in the bay. There should be feet of water here. So where did all of that water go? Well, ahead of the storm yesterday, that water was actually drawn out of the bays all along the west coast of Florida. And this phenomenon is the opposite of storm surge, where yesterday levels dropped five to six feet below average in the Tampa Bay and dropped over three feet below normal in Naples and Fort Myers. But this situation can be particularly dangerous because it is temporary. Water levels will quickly funnel back into the area, that time being the storm surge, and then that can be life-threatening. So what exactly is happening? Well, it's all tied to the winds. Winds circulate counterclockwise around a tropical system. They also flow into that system. So as this hurricane approached from the south, winds were very strong out of the northeast, leading up to the arrival of that eye. So as those winds, very strong, pushed on that water for hours, it quite literally pushed the water out of Tampa Bay. That's what made those water levels drop. But this is temporary. Fast forward a couple of hours, that eye of that storm traveled north and eventually passed by Tampa. On the back side of that eye, winds shift out of the southwest this time, pushing that water back in. That's where that deadly storm surge comes in water being pushed back into the Tampa Bay. So that's what happened yesterday all along the west coast of Florida, a very susceptible region for this phenomenon to happen. And quite simply, what goes out must go back in.